In the battle against illness, one of the most powerful weapons we have is understanding how diseases work. But in the mid-20th century, there wasn't much known about the causes of cancer. Until one University of Chicago scientist discovered something few had suspected, a breakthrough that paved the way for many of the cancer therapies we have today. Welcome to The Day Tomorrow Began, the genesis of world-changing ideas from the University of Chicago. In 1972, Janet Rowley was a young scientist and physician interested in studying cancer and inherited diseases. One evening, she sat at her kitchen table cutting up photographs of chromosomes taken from the malignant cells of leukemia patients. She pieced them together like paper dolls and ordered her four children not to sneeze. Rowley noticed two chromosomes had consistently swapped genetic material in each of the patients. She examined more and more photos from other leukemia patients, and nearly every set showed the identical genetic swap. This was the moment that established cancer as a genetic disease, the result of changes in a cell's genetic material, a monumental discovery that fundamentally changed the way cancer was understood and treated, earning Rowley the moniker, the matriarch of modern cancer genetics. Today, scientists at the University of Chicago continue to build upon Rowley's work from advancing immunotherapy, a treatment that uses the body's own immune system to detect and destroy cancer, to planning the city's first freestanding clinical cancer center. In these and countless other ways, UChicago continues to deepen our knowledge and develop innovative new treatments in the fight against these complex diseases. To learn more about this and other world-changing ideas, visit uchicago.edu slash the day tomorrow began.